everybody! We're going to be reading this book called Henny Penny. Yes! This book is written by Bonnie Dobkin and is illustrated by Sean Aiken. Bonnie Dobkin wrote the words and Sean Aiken drew the pictures in this book. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. And this is a spine, and the spine keeps the pages together. Penny, Penny. Penny, Penny lived with her friends in a wonderful kingdom of forests, meadows, and ponds. It was a perfect place as you could imagine, unless you were Henny Penny. One morning, Henny Penny was talking with her friend, Ducky Lucky. The sun was shining and the sky was blue. Breezes played with the leaves of the trees. What a perfect day, said Ducky Lucky. Yeah, said Henny Penny. I just hope it doesn't get too hot or too windy. Oh my goodness, what if it rains? Ducky Lucky shook his head. You worry too much. Why don't you go look for something to eat? All right, sighed Henny Penny. I suppose I could hunt for some nice crunchy bugs. Some beautiful pictures. That's Henny Penny and that's Ducky Lucky. So Henny Penny wandered down the road, picking and flicking and pecking and checking. Finally, she stopped under an old oak tree. Bugs and grubs were everywhere. Well, these look tasty, said Henny Penny. I only hope I don't get sick from eating too much. Just then, the wind puffed through the branches of the oak tree. It loosened an acorn. The acorn fell straight down and cluck. It hit Henny Penny on the head. Ouch, cried Henny Penny. What was that? She looked around but didn't see anything. My goodness, the sky must be falling. I must go and tell the king. The acorn fell off the tree and hit Henny Penny right there in the, egg, in the head. Clunk! Henny Penny fluttered back down the road. Soon she passed the pond where her friend was still swimming. What's wrong? asked Ducky Lucky. Henny Penny didn't even stop. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! I must go and tell the king! Are you sure? asked Ducky Lucky. I remember when you lost a feather and thought your wing was coming off. Look at the spot on my head, said Henny Penny. I tell you, the sky is falling. Then I'll come with you, said Ducky Lucky, and he jumped out of the pond. Ducky Lucky jumped out of the pond and followed Henny Penny. She thought the sky was falling. So they came upon Turkey Lurkey, who was gobbling berries from a bush. What's the matter? He asked. Why are you running? The sky is falling, cried Henny Penny. And Ducky Lucky, we must go and tell the king. Are you sure? Asked Turkey Lucky. I remember when you. Ducky Lucky believes me, said Henny Penny. Besides, look at this bump on my head. Well, said Ducky Luck, Turkey Lucky, if you have a bump and Ducky Lucky believes you, then it must be true. He spit out the berries and joined them. Next, they saw Goosey Lucy arranging some twigs in her nest. She said, why are you running? The sky is falling, cried 
cried Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey. We must go and tell the king. Are you sure? Asked Goosey Lucy. I remember. Look at this bump on my head, said Henny Penny. I tell you, the sky is falling. Well, said Goosey Lucy, if you have a bump and Ducky Lucky believes you and Turkey Lurkey has joined you, then it must be true. And she began waddling beside them as fast as she could. Look at all the friends. They are so frantic. That means they're panicking and they are in a hurry. Henny Penny has convinced them that the sky is falling. The four friends were nearing the forest. Cocky Locky was roosting on a tree branch, practicing his crow. What's the matter? Why are you running? The sky is falling, cried Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, and Goosey Lucy. We must go and tell the king. Are you sure? Asked Cocky Locky. Look at this bump on my head, said Henny Penny. The sky is definitely falling. Well, said Cocky Locky, if you have a bump and Ducky Lucky believes you and Turkey Lurkey has joined you and Goosey Lucy says it's so, then it must be true. And he fluttered down from the branch. Look at all these birds in a total panic. They believe that the sky is falling. Now the five friends hurried into the forest. They had gone only a little way when Foxy Loxy stepped out from a cluster of trees. Oh my, he said, you all look so distressed. Whatever is the matter? That is Foxy Loxy. He's very, very sly, very, very tricky, very, very Cunning. The sky is falling, cried Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky. We must go and tell the king. Why, of course you must, said Foxy Loxy. Listen. Friends, I know the king well, and I also know a shortcut to the palace. So follow me. There isn't a moment to lose. Does he look like he's telling the truth? Look at his face. Remember, he's a fox, and all of these are birds or pheasants. Pheasants is another name for birds, and foxes eat pheasants. Foxy Loxy is very sly. Can you say sly? Sly. The fox led them further into the woods down a twisty turning trail. Are we almost there? asked Henny Penny. Almost, said Foxy Loxy. But oh dear, you all look so tired. Should we stop at my den for a moment? You can meet my family and rest a while. Yes, please, said Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky. Do you think it is a good idea? for all of these bird friends to go to Foxy Loxy's den to meet his family. Remember, Foxy Loxy is sly. He has another plan in his mind.
right this way, said Foxy Loxy. As they walked, he told them about his lovely wife, Roxy Loxy, and he told them about the four little Loxies, Moxie, Soxy, Poxy, and Doxy. What if he didn't tell them, what he didn't tell them was that they were five sitting around the dining table waiting for Foxy Loxy to bring home dinner. Well, here we are said Foxy Loxy, stopping in front of a low rock ledge. He bowed and waved his arm toward a dark opening underneath. And Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky all marched down into the fox's den. Oh my, what do you think? that Foxy Loxy has in mind. Now, two things didn't happen after that. The sky didn't fall. And no one met with the king, but Foxy Loxy's family still talk about the wonderful feast they had that day. Oh my. Look at their tummies, they're all full. What do you think they ate? They ate all of the bird friends. The end. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this book. Yes, yes, yes. It's always best to think and not panic like Foxy Loxy did with uh, Henny Penny. Henny Penny was very, very, very frantic. And Foxy Loxy was very, very sly. So you have to think, okay? All right, this was a really good book and I hope that you enjoyed it. All right, bye.